Hello and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Let's Build series in Minecraft. Now, I hope you all have a nice day. Today I want to show you how to build this big mansion. As you can see, it is a quite nice design and looks pretty nice all around. As you can see, we got some details on the roof as well, which I think adds a lovely transition in between the two different colors. I really like how this one ended up. So the requirements for this build is actually everything you see right here. After you got everything you need, let's get started. The first thing what we're going to do is we're going to outline the build. To do that, you want to place a dark oak wood right here. Then take some stripped spruce wood and go out seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you can add a dark oak wood right here. Now we want to go back. So repeat the same thing over on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here we go. Then let's go in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here you want to go in two blocks and then go out one block like this skip two blocks of space and repeat the same thing over on this side for the sides what you want to do is you want to go out three times so one two three four five six seven this is one and you want to do that two more times one two three four five six seven Then repeat the same thing over on that side. For the back side, what you want to do is you want to go in two times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is one. And let's do that one more time. And this should exactly line up with this block. Then I want to go in six blocks instead of seven so one two three four five six and this should perfectly line up with that block then you can close this as well if you have done that correctly it should look like this now we are going to get the windows in to do that you want to go up six blocks in total one two three four five six one, two, three, four, five, six. Then take some stripped spruce wood and go up. And go up here. You want to have two wide windows like this. Then up here you can just close it with some wood again. With some stairs. And that is going to be the basic shape for the windows. Now what you want to do is you want to get all the windows and the pillars in. After that we are going to add another floor on top. Once you got all the windows in it should look like this. Now before we go any further and add the second floor we are going to build the entrance. You want to take some dark oak doors and place it in like this. Then you can build this up add some dark oak stairs going across then build this pillar up as well here we go then you want to add some stairs once more going across then take some iron bars and add that in and add some stairs on top as well and obviously we are going to decorate this afterwards as well but this is just to indicate the entrance to make it easier for you to see there we go now for the second floor you want to start again from this side and build up six blocks one two three four five six then you can build this up if you want to make things easier, you can add a row of stripped spruce wood on top and then get the pillars in, uh, well, the windows like this. 
and here we go this is the basic shape for the second floor now this is how the second floor is going to look so what you want to do is go all the way around and add the windows for the second floor in as well and after that we are going to decorate the windows so you want to take some dark oak stairs and add one upside down stair here here as well and then on top of the edge you want to add some lanterns then on top what you want to do is you want to add some stairs again of course don't forget to add some stairs on the edge on the pillars let's do this one as well then on top of here you want to add some dark oak fences with a polished black stone button oops like that okay so this is the basic shape for the windows then uh, you want to take some spruce fences and you want to place that in like this okay so what you want to do is get all the windows in and after that we are going to decorate the entrance and the roof uh, let me quickly show you the second floor as well so that it's easier for you to follow along and i forgot to take some dark oak slabs here we go let's repeat this one more time here we go it's actually easy is that and once you are done with that you want to add some spruce slabs actually i'm sorry you don't want to add some dark oak slabs but some spruce slabs like this then on top of this you want to add some dark oak trap doors uh, let's get rid of the door here you want to do this and here we go that's the basic shape for the windows So what you want to do is get all the windows in and after that we are going to continue decorating this house. Now for this build what I will do is I will use the black stained glass pane. Um, I think this one looks very cool but you can just use whatever glass you like to. So once you are at this point what you want to do is you want to take some deep slate bricks and go in one block and build this up then you can take some stairs again and add it like this there we go then if you want to you can add some iron bars on these sides as well okay now if you are really worried that something spawns up here you can add a lantern on both ends like that okay so what i will do is i will get all the windows in and after that we are going to get a roof in as well what i have decided to do is i have decided to add some chains because i think chains and wood look very nice together so if you want to you can do the same thing just go to the middle of the window and add two chains up on this upside down stair okay so what i will do is i will do that all the way around actually and after that we're going to build the roof in what you want to do for the roof is quite simple you want to take some deep slate brick stairs and add a row one block behind this in front of that you want to add some trap doors dark oak trapdoors so let's do that first honestly it's going to be much easier so go ahead and fill this all in with some trapdoors once you got the trapdoors what you want to do is you want to add a row of deep slate brick stairs and what i will do is i will go up six seven rows maybe 
I, I'm not going to make a massive roof on top. I think six or seven rows will be enough. Once you got one row in, what you want to do is go ahead and place a row of planks. Actually, I will use the spruce plank and it will make things much easier once you want to place the second row. And then you just want to go inwards. Once you got the roof in, what you want to do is add some detail to it. So you can replace the blocks right here, the stairs on this edge. And then skip four blocks. One, two, three, four. Uh, on the fifth one, you want to get rid of this. And add a different type of stair again. Let's do the same over here. The reason uh, why you want to do this is so that you know there's a little bit more depth. Uh, otherwise, it's going to look weird. Uh, but I think this looks lovely. Then you can get rid of these blocks. And this is not going to be exactly symmetrical. But let's get rid of this as well then. Here we go. And obviously, if you want to, you can add more of these maybe on this side. And here we go. I got the roof in as well. Now, obviously, you want to do the same thing over on the back side as well. You can follow along these pillars and just get rid of this. Just so to add some more depth to the back side as well. And then let me, after I'm done with this, let me quickly show you around as well. And remember in the next episode, we are going to do some interior work. So if you have any suggestions, feel free to let me know. Uh, because we got a lot of space to fill. For the sides, what you want to do is again the same thing. Okay, and maybe one more right here. And I think the transition looks very nice. Um, now we can even, uh, no, <laughs> let's try to replace this as well. It's kind of tricky, but yeah, it works. Lovely. Nice. Let's do the same thing over on this side. And that is going to be it. Actually, here you can just replace this. Once you are done with the roof, what you want to do is you want to add some leaves. Okay, then you can even go ahead and connect this like so if you want to. Here we go. Then you can take some dark oak fences and place that in. Okay. Then what I will do is I will place some orchids in as well. But first you want to make the entrance now. Just get rid of this and mix up some cobblestone with some smooth stone. Let's <laughs> randomly place some smooth stone. Here we go. It's fine. Okay. Lovely. Then you can even expand this uh, if you want to. Okay, so let's expand this a little bit more. Then what you want to do is you want to dig out these blocks on the edge. Like so. And then you want to get some stairs and some iron bars. Now this is optional. You don't have to do this, but this is actually pretty cool it looks amazing actually when it's done and obviously we're going to change these blocks as well here we go 
this one and then you want to replace the floor with some iron bars uh, iron blocks and then place some water on top and here we go what i have decided to do is i have added some glowstone right here and some lily pads on top of this pool well we got two pools but i think it looks lovely now in the next one we're going to do some interior work as well so if you have any building suggestions feel free to let me know in the comment section i hope you enjoyed this one and if you did please leave a like and subscribe have a nice day i see you the next time